Hello, another day in the forest. It's a nice weather today. It's a Friday. It's the middle of October in the UK. And it's a little bit damp, which is really good for mushrooms. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead, go to my favorite spot. So I found my first nice orange bullet. The stock is still firm and the cap also. Look at this guys. I think I found a mushroom paradise. So loads of fly agaric. But there's also a lot of edible puffballs. Like this one. Nice. More. nice. Just be careful with the other puffball, which is a ground puffball. They're quite rubbery, like your giant puffball. This is quite common in the woods this time of the year, and they're very good. So I have a few of the puffballs. If you can see, I've cut them and they're white. The meat is very white, it doesn't stain, doesn't change color. And even if you cook them, they, doesn't, they, they retain their color. So I got a few in my bag. This would be nice for later. So, so after I found the puffballs, and I just turned to my left, and I saw something from the distance and look at this oh my god these are huge look at this oh, oh my that's so huge and I think because the cap is so heavy it couldn't support the weight so they can you see the stem just bent over. Right, and this is so huge. This is as big as the palm of my hand. But but there there is one. I think I'm gonna get the small one. Because I think these big ones are quite old and soggy not good for eating all right nice so we get this one yeah, yeah definitely all right nice looking mushroom and the pores are very clean no slugs let me clean this now and place it in the bag Right, I just found a few more of the orange bullets. I think there's one here. And there's another one there. And on the other side. And a few more. But they're scattered around. Right, I think I'm just gonna 
turn off the camera and just gather them and I'll show you in a bit. I think I counted like two, four, six, eight, about ten. I already got a few and I'm just gonna clean them and place them in the bag and I'll show you after I clean them so this is how many I've got one two three four five six seven I've, I've cut most of the stem because they're quite old and this one I just took the spores out and spread them over so with the orange bullet you want something like this so the, the pores are still quite white and right, compared to this one they're a little bit brown already and dirty so there might be a lot of insects there and I can see some holes but I'm gonna uh, clean this later on when I get home but they're still quite good especially for for drying but the fresh ones like this this is definitely good uh, in the pan straight away. And there's also some fly agarics here, but definitely there's some yum. Oh, I'm getting pricked. So there you go. It's a nice one. And here's another one. And they're going in moss in the middle of the forest but most of the time I find them along the grassy footpath right, that's two I think I'm get this one I think I'll get one oh this is nice get some white flowers in there the other one is here Ooh, if I can reach it. Now, these are better ones. So I have these two big ones and the other two medium sized ones. And they're all very nice specimens. So I think this is still a species of the Lysenium. I mean the genus because it doesn't have reticulations but it has spots red brown spots the same as this big one so it's like oak brick red dots on the stem and it's pale near the cap and the spores are white I think it doesn't stain Yeah, it doesn't stain. It's just my fingers are so dirty. And with an orange cap. Right. I found three more other orange bullet. And I think they're just scattered all over the, this forest. And I'm getting shorter breath now for picking all of them and my bag is getting full all right so another nice specimen I'm going home now so it's been a long morning 
for foraging mushrooms. I have a lot in my backpack and in my bag. Loads of mushrooms here. So I think that's enough for today. I'm going to be going home, cleaning them, and most of them are going to be dried so that we'll have some mushrooms throughout winter. So thank you. Bye-bye.